Hey guys, ever wondered how those amazing AI avatars on social media and YouTube are made? You know, the ones that talk with perfect lip sync but still look like an animated character? Well, what if I told you that the secret to making them come alive isn't just the avatar itself, but the motion engine behind it? Today, we're not just making a video. We're doing an epic showdown. We're taking my custom 3D Kid avatar and putting it to the test on HeyGen using some of the most advanced motion engines out there, Runway, Kling, and Hyluo. We'll see which one gives the most realistic, dynamic, and downright awesome movements. First things first, we need our star. I used a generative AI tool to create this adorable 3D kid in a cartoon style. The goal is to make a talking avatar that's not just a static image with a moving mouth, but an expressive character that feels alive. We're going to use HeyGen, which is the go-to platform right now for creating high-quality talking avatars with amazing lip sync. HeyGen is super powerful because it's not a one-trick pony. It lets you integrate different AI models or motion engines to control how your avatar moves. This is where the magic and the comparison happens. An important note, the motions generated by these engines are often adapted to the initial prompt you use to describe your avatar. So if your prompt described a playful, energetic kid, the motions will likely reflect that. They aren't specifically adapted to the video's script, but, but for a simple talking head video, the results are usually fantastic. I've prepared a simple 15 second script. We'll run the exact same script through four different scenarios to compare them. First, we'll see the static version, which is just the photo with a talking head. Then we'll try the runway motion engine, known for its great high quality body movements. After that, we'll test the cling motion engine, which is praised for its cinematic and complex camera work and motions. Finally, we'll check out the Halo motion engine, noted for its dynamic hand gestures. Let's see how they all compare. First, let's look at the baseline. This is what you get when you just use the still photo. The lip sync is perfect and there are some subtle head movements. It's clean, simple, and gets the job done. But let's be honest, it's not going to win any awards for expressiveness. It's a talking photo and that's it. Wow, look at that. The difference is immediate. The avatar's entire body moves, not just the head. The gestures feel natural and there's a good sense of weight and motion. Runway is a standout for generating realistic, fluid body movements that add a professional, polished feel to your video. It really makes the character feel grounded in the scene. Now this is something else. Kling brings a cinematic quality to the video. Not only does the avatar move with complex gestures, but the camera itself also moves. The camera pans and zooms, creating a more dynamic and engaging shot. The avatar's motions are more developed and intricate than with Runway. Kling is all about adding that high production value feel, turning a simple talking head into a compelling scene. Okay, here's our final contender. You can immediately see the hand movements. Hailuo is fantastic at generating gestures that emphasize what the avatar is saying. However, I'm seeing some slight blur and a bit of a warpy effect, especially on the hands. The movements can feel a little exaggerated. While the potential for expressive gestures is there, the quality isn't quite as polished as the others yet. It's a great concept, but the execution needs some refinement. So what's the verdict? If you need a quick, simple, and clean talking head video with flawless lip sync, the static option is a great starting point. For realistic and professional body movements, Runway is the clear winner. It's perfect for explainer videos or corporate content where a natural looking presenter is key. For a truly cinematic experience with camera movement and complex developed motions, Kling takes the crown. It's for when you want your video to feel like a movie scene. Hailuo shows a lot of promise, especially with its emphasis on hand gestures, but the current quality with some blurring and exaggerated movements makes it a runner up for now. The future of AI video creation isn't just about creating realistic avatars. It's about giving them personality and life. The ability to choose your motion engine on HeyGen is a game changer. It lets you fine tune your avatar's performance and style to match your project's needs. So which motion engine will you choose for your next video? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI tutorials and comparisons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.